so much color, so much variety, so much uh, just explosions activity. Looks like just a ball of spikes or thorns. Also, to mention, the octopus. What do I show you guys next? This one right here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we're actually gonna be going to check out I think we're gonna be going to check out a brand new fish store. And basically, it's free reign. We're gonna buy whatever the heck we want, all right? We might get coral, we might get fish, we might get invertebrates, we might get an eel, we might get a shark. I really don't know. We're just gonna be going to the store. We gotta get some things. And you know, when I go to a store, I really just can't hold back. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, we went and we caught a beautiful mangrove snapper for this saltwater pond. And let me tell you what, it is doing really dang good. And also, as you guys know, we have two bamboo sharks inside there and one of them had a big goiter underneath its chin and actually when i've been feeding it i've been using iodine i believe that's what it is i showed i talked about it in the last video and i've been soaking its shrimp inside of it and feeding it to them and that thing has shrank drastically so that is awesome news for the shark i've got the shade on it right now because the sun is beaming down on it but the pond literally looks so dang good and Everybody inside of the pond is literally thriving. I could not be more happier with it. Walk over here to our 4,000 gallon right here. Oh, we gotta get water for the coral tank. But take a look, look at these fish. Look how crystal clear the water is. The water is just stunning. We got the whole school of koi fish right here. We got the tarpon sitting right there. Look at that thing. That is a pristine beast right there. The bass, everybody just looks so dang good. The platinum red tail. When the pond is crystal clear like this, I really just cannot get enough of it. I love to just watch these fish swim around. And it's just honestly almost therapeutic. We gotta get some water for the coral tank and we gotta get a scrubber. I've been gone from the house for about a week. I went on vacation in Ohio to see my beautiful girlfriend. And let's put it this way. In that week, algae grew this much. All right, that is a lot of algae. And I tried to, I tried to clean it with my normal brush, but it seems as though it's pretty crusty, all right? It's pretty crusty, so we gotta get like a razor blade. We're gonna clean that thing up. We're gonna do a water change on it. We're just gonna get everything back on its feet. We're gonna head there now. There's also a new fish store. I think I talked about this earlier. There's also a new fish store that's relatively close to my house, and I really, really wanna go check it out. So if my local store isn't too popping, then we're gonna be making the trip to go check out. I just walked right through a spider web. That's fantastic. We're gonna be making a trip to go check out the new fish store. I've heard good things about it. All right, take this, put this right inside here. Got to get some RO. Oh, I need to get another one of those at the store as well. But it's a beautiful hot summer day, ladies and gents, and we're going to be getting to some fishing here soon, like a lot of fishing in my videos, because when summer's around, that's just about all I do. Monday through Friday, after work, I hit straight to the lake, or I go straight to the beach, and we just fish for hours, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite time of the year. All right, we have made it to the very first fish store of the day, possibly the only fish store of the day. We're gonna head inside now. We're gonna see what they have, baby. We're gonna be leaving with some awesome sea creatures, baby. Let's do it. Just now getting home, we got the RO here. We did pick up some Chipotle because your boy needs to eat. And we got a bag full of fish way in the back there. I really did want to go hit that other fish store, but I just looked and they're closed on Sunday. So unfortunately we couldn't go there today, but we're definitely going to be going there in the future. That is a 110%, thousand percent fact. If that made sense, ladies and gents. We made it back home and the first stop of the day is gonna be right here at the saltwater pond where we have Richie, all the sharks, the mangrove snapper, who we're actually gonna be naming Gus. I asked you guys in my last video to go ahead and name this fish here. And the name that I personally liked the best was Gus. So that's gonna be his name, Gus the snapper. We also have Marty the zebra morial inside here, a few other invertebrates, but today we're gonna be adding few more invertebrates, so come take a look. Now the main show is gonna be going into the octopus aquarium. I got three more things to add inside there, but right here we have a few things that I gotta get acclimating, and you guys are gonna see them here very, very shortly. I'm sure you're gonna get a little glimpse, but for the most part, you'll get the up close shot once they're out of the bag. But oh my, the sun is coming out. I do need to redo the rock structure right there. The eels and the sharks literally just absolutely destroyed the rock structure. Now in the meantime, while we wait for those to acclimate, let's go ahead, get this guy right here. Let's go feed these fish, because I love feeding 
these fish right here. They all know as soon as I walk up, you guys see me feed these guys a lot, but you know what? How can you just walk by them and not just give them a scoop of food? Look at that. So much color, so much variety, so much uh, just explosions, activity, everything. Everybody loves to eat. That tarpon is just going to town. Look at that guy right there. Crazy. Give him one more scoop just like this. Just like that. Let them all eat. Rami the Grama, you guys don't see him very often. Usually he comes up and picks some once everyone's kind of laid down. But all the koi's are eating. Big old white one right there. Where's Marble? Marble's in the corner way over there. My favorite koi right there. Marble. Put this on back just like this. And you shut the dang thing and forget about it. Now as we do wait for those fish to acclimate inside of the saltwater pond, I do want to talk to you guys about something super special that we're coming out with here soon that's really going to take your all's fish guy level to that next notch. If you're a fisherman, beginner, expert, intermediate, it doesn't matter. We're coming out with something for you all and I cannot wait to share it. It's my favorite thing we've ever worked on throughout the five years of growing this platform, throughout the five years of growing our fish guy community. It is my favorite thing for all the fishermen out there. If you're a fishing fish guy or you want to be a fishing fish guy, this is for you. Go down, click the first link in my description or head to www.joinfishguy.com forward slash fishing and put your email in there. You'll be the first one to be notified. I cannot freaking wait it's literally keeps me up at night i'm gonna be able to share a whole nother side of my fish guyness it's gonna be crazy and if you are into fishing or you want to become into fishing this is perfect for you all so click the link down below put your email in there and you'll get notified as soon as things get rolling Alrighty, these guys are all acclimated up let me go ahead and show you guys what we got here up first on the agenda the first thing we're adding to the saltwater pond is a massive Massive pencil urchin. This guy is freaking huge. Now, as you guys know, we have one of these inside of the aquarium upstairs in my octopus aquarium, but we do not have one inside of here. And uh, these invertebrates we have in here, which starfish there, starfish there, We've got a couple urchins inside here. You guys can see one way in the back, but this guy is gonna be awesome in here. It kind of adds a different funk to it. it. Looks like just a ball of spikes or thorns we're slowly adding to the invertebrates in here and this guy is definitely one that's gonna stick around for the long run let's go ahead get him in the water all right buddy go on get in there i got a beautiful aquarium for you to cruise along ton of algae to eat and honestly the algae is pretty well under control but this guy right here is gonna have himself a good time inside here i love this sea urchin right here it's super cool okay here we go on to the next invertebrate we have a sand sifting starfish take a look at that thing right there these guys live in the sand, they sift through it, they eat a bunch of stuff. They're super good to have inside of your pond and they're really not even too expensive. This guy right here was like $9, which is awesome. You get a few of these, they'll go ahead, go to work. They don't have the best color, but they're essential to have inside of your pond. Take a look at that guy right there. Super beautiful starfish. It's gonna go really well inside of here. And I think without further ado, Let's go ahead, get him inside. All right, Mr. Starfish, go ahead, get on in there. He's gonna look so cool down in here, and holy cow, look at this. The sea urchin has a track. He is on the move, ladies and gents. The sea urchin is already on the move. The pond looks so dang good. I cannot wait to get some more bigger fish for this guy right here. And of course, we gotta fix this rock structure, but for the most part, I am so happy with this pond. We're gonna head upstairs now because I have an awesome fish that's gonna stay with us for a little bit. Then we're gonna be giving it to fish guy Kyle and it's a surprise for him. So I know he is gonna be stoked. And I also got three other things as well. So let's head up there. And welcome upstairs to the octopus aquarium. Take a look at that torch coil right there. That thing looks so insane. Typically it's bigger, but as you guys can see, I scrubbed the front of the glass and I scrubbed this side of the glass, but the water was starting to get really murky, so I had to leave some of that over there, but I'll get back to it tomorrow. I also have to siphon along the sand and everything. And in the meantime, while I was cleaning the tank, everything kind of, you know, shriveled up, I guess, but except that torch coral, look at that right there. So stay tuned. My next video, I'll give you guys an update on the whole tank when everything is out and about and thriving. I'm talking that wall hammer right there. That right there literally takes up the whole entire rock. Just like, not even joking, 80% of that rock is covered. Now inside of this bag, I do have something for this aquarium. I have some reef glue, okay? Cause I wanna go ahead and I kinda wanna move some things around and make them permanent. That way we can continuously keep adding and not have to worry about moving things. Once it's there, it is there. So that's good, we needed that. And then I have something right here we're gonna add to the aquarium. Take a look at right here. This is my first ever 
gold torch ladies and gents it looks like nothing right now that right there is something i'm super excited to see grow it's gonna be crazy also to mention the octopus we're still waiting on the octopus the fish stores have not gotten one in yet but that is coming soon. We gotta go ahead and get this guy drip acclimating. As we wait for our brand new hammer coil to be finished dipping, let's go ahead and move right along. Okay, what do I show you guys next? This one right here. Okay, now there's a theory behind this one, ladies and gents. There is a theory. Right here we have what looks just like a pile of sticks is actually two emerald crabs and they're holding on to each other. Now they are moving around, but these guys right here are going to be great for the green string algae growing on the rocks. With every aquarium, you're going to have algae, and that's why it's important to have a cleanup crew. And these guys right here are going to do their part until Mr. Octopus gets in here, and then they're going to turn into food. So let's get these guys in there. All right, guys, get on in there. There they go. Down, down, down to the bottom. They're going to go hide so quickly. There he goes. He's right on the rock. This guy's right here along the glass. Once he gets moving, whoa, that's so cool. Look at him. Look at him right there. Mess the crabs. Two emerald crabs added to the tank. Now, if I notice anything wrong with my corals, I know it is probably these emerald crabs, but from what I hear, these guys are pretty dang reef safe. And if they do start to go after my corals a little bit, I'll just bring them right to the saltwater pond. And bang, just like that, we have our brand new hammer coral inside of the aquarium. Now, as you guys know, it's completely shriveled up. It's gonna take some time for this guy to come out, but Eventually, he's about like the size of that one on the right right there. So I'm going to make a promise to you guys. The next time you see this aquarium, everything will be spotless. The corals will be in their homes for good. And it's going to be... I'm either going to show you guys in my next video or the video after. I've got a lot to get caught up on. Being away for a week really throws me off like hard. So I just need that little bit of time to get everything back under control and where it needs to be. But I have one more fish, the star of the show that I'm about to show you guys. This right here is my favorite fish of all time. And this one's actually going to go to fish guy, Kyle. He has no idea. I'm actually surprising him with this fish. But for the time being, I am going to keep it inside of the coral tank. He's not going to harm anything in here. I'm going to move the shrimp. Where is he? The shrimp way in the back there. I'm going to move him here shortly. And literally, Kyle's coming to pick this guy up in about two days. This is a panther grouper, and it's my favorite grouper of all time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get this guy acclimated up. Look at that fish right there. They're so floppy. They have so many spots on them. Everything about this fish just screams like out of the ordinary, just unique. I'm a good fellow fish guy, and I'm good to my fellow fish guys. He's going to be so stoked. That's the fish that he wanted ever since he started his aquarium, and I said, screw it. I saw it. I'm gonna make fish guy Kyle happy. I'm gonna give him this panther grouper. Here he is inside of the white bin that I have him acclimating in right now. That fish is so freaking beautiful. Let me put him on the ground here. Ooh, a little bit of a blue light on him. That looks good. Let me wet my hand here so I don't take off his slime coat, but look at this fish. Oh my God, that is such a beautiful grouper. I love panther groupers. All right, this guy right here is ready to go. Got him in the aquarium. Oh my God, he almost flopped out. Look at him right there, you guys. That fish is ridiculous. I, I, I just might, I might keep him now. I don't know. I might have just made my decision. I might keep him. I freaking love panther groupers. I love panther groupers. They're my favorite fish. If you guys want me to get a 12 inch panther grouper for the saltwater pond out back, comment down below. I will make it happen. I will notify the store and I will get a 12 inch panther grouper. There he goes. He's in the back there way in the back look at that fish in the back there that is the coolest grouper i think charizard is freaking awesome because of the color but that grouper right there i don't think you can beat it ladies and gents he's posted up in the corner right there let me know how happy you guys think fish guy kyle is gonna be and if you're excited to see this tank just pristine again 10 out of 10 pristine it feels good to have the camera back in my hand and to pump out another awesome video for you guys if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like and don't forget if you're a fishing fish guy go down click the first link in my description and i'll probably have it in the pinned comment down below put your email in there and you'll be notified it's limited quantity so you're gonna want to get your hands on it quick you all mean the absolute world to me thank you all so much for the support i'll catch you all in that next video peace out